YouTubers, welcome back. In a previous video of mine, I showed you how you can enhance a build of your own power station, your own power bank, and how to make it perform at its best. Take advantage of the full capacity of your LiPo 4 battery, or lithium battery, whatever it might be, but in this case of that video, it was a LiPo 4. And it, the, uh, the takeaway in that video was to incorporate a buck boost converter in your builds. That will give you the ability to get the voltage that you seek out, and particularly 13.8 volts for an automotive uh, compatible unit such as this one, and consistently have a 13.8 volt output no matter what's discharged out of the battery. So as your battery capacity is being depleted and going below 50%, Instead of having it drop to 12.2, 12 volts, or even below 12 volts, it'll continuously output 13.8 volts. Now in this video, I, I realized in the past that I was covering this, just those who were building their own power station. However, what if you already have a power station? You have purchased your own, whether it be this little flash fish that I like to use as well as my own, or you have something bigger, right? and it's uh, an older model that doesn't have a buck boost converter incorporated already in. And you can tell because as you're using your, your power station, if you measure out the voltage output as it's depleting, you'll see the voltage dropping. It may start off at 12.6 volts, 13 volts, and it'll drop down to 12, even below 12 volts, 11.9 volt, 11 volts and so forth, till the battery is pretty much fully depleted. And at that point in the ham radio community, and CBers out there, preppers who like to use radio or just enjoy radio uh, out in parks and beaches and whatnot. You're not gonna be able to take advantage of the full battery of this portable unit because they're seeking out 13.8 volts to work. Some will work at 12 volts, don't get me wrong, and they're designed to do so, but they're not gonna give you the full wattage that it's, it's spec'd for. So if you buy a, a radio that's giving you 20 watts of, of uh, rate RF, uh, frequency uh, power out there you're not going to get that if you're giving only 12 volts and it's expecting 13.8 uh, same with a 100 watt unit you're not going to get the full 100 watts it's designed so the final is the amplifier in the radio has a 13.8 volt source as the spec input um, so how do you do that in a unit that's already been built it's very simple you still get yourself the buck boost converter that I had recommended uh, I'll put some links in the comments in the description below but please they do change if i give you an amazon link i'll try to provide some other links too but if i give you an amazon link know that it may change <laughs> or go out of business you know they seem to be flighty i'll give you a reputable one at least from what i see thus far where i got this one and you'll also need what came with this power station in particular is an auxiliary out uh, a 12 volt cigarette lighter jack output, right? In this case, it came with it, so you plug it into their DC output line and I have myself a cigarette lighter jack. I can now splice this lead in half, cut it, take the bus, buck boost converter and solder the uh, positive 12 in the ground to the input barrel. And then the output, that would be the 13.8 after it's been spliced, to the cigarette lighter jack socket, the female receiving end, right? What if you have the uh, 12 volt receiving end, the female jack already incorporated into your power station? Fantastic. All you'll need then to purchase is a, an extension cord, these, the cigarette lighter jack extension cord, where it has a male on one end, a female on the other, and it might be whatever, three feet or six feet long. Just cut that in half and do the same wiring, right? And then you can plug into that, that female jack of your power station and out you'll have 13.8 volts coming out of your, your socket. That will give you a full 13.8 volts throughout the journey of the discharge of that battery. So as it's going from 100% down to the 20% that you're willing to go before recharging, you'll still have 13.8 volts from 100% down to 20 giving your radio maximum performance throughout the entire usage of that, of that discharge. You won't get that if it's not built into the, the power station. You'll start off gangbusters at full wattage, doing a great job reaching long distance DX with your ham radio, 
but once your battery starts to discharge without this buck boost converter you'll start to get less QSOs, yeah, less re, uh, replies back, you're not going to get much DX. You'll hear them, you'll obviously hear them, your radio will still perform in receiving, but your transmission will be weakened. This will stop that from happening. And that's it. I hope that now helps the rest of the crowd who are not building their power stations and already have one. You too can take advantage of the Buck Boost Converter. Thank you for watching. I hope that really helps. If it helped you, Please like and subscribe, share the video, let others know in the community. It's uh, beneficial, I think. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.